All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be going to Amoeba and trading in some records to try to get some store credit. Now, I've never done this before. I've sold records, but never done the trade-in. So I'm gonna walk you through it in this vlog-style video right now. The reason that I decided to actually go and do this is because Amoeba this weekend, or I guess for the past week, has this coupon saying that I can get 15% additional trade-in credit whenever I go and trade in records. Now, I've sold records before on Discogs, but I've never traded in records. And I do have a bunch of records that are not super high value and maybe harder to move than ones I can sell on Discogs. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually going to the store, taking this coupon and seeing what I get for it. The other reason I wanna to go to the store is because I have a lot of gift certificates. I'm talking $120 worth of Amoeba gift certificates. There's gonna be a great haul after this. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna walk you through. We're gonna probably run into my good friend Pete who was in the Amoeba interview video. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we are in the Amoeba parking lot and I just got out of my car and it's time for me to take this big old box of records and uh, see what they're gonna give me for it. Records here, smile favorite hallway in the world. And here we are. Hey, there's Pete. I knew I'd find him here. Well, look who it is. It's Pete Majors. What's going on, Pete? Oh, not too much. Uh, just another busy Saturday at the Amoeba buy counter. So, this is my first time ever trading in records to Amoeba. Yeah. I sold before, but I never traded. So if someone like me has never traded in before, what should they know? It's good to know what you have. If, if you don't know what you have to start with, um, and you don't know what you're talking about necessarily, it's kind of hard to have that conversation with the with the buyer who's buying it. You look at the stuff while I walk around the store, I come back and then we talk uh, individual or do you give kind of a lump sum? Um, yeah, I always just give a total for everything, but I'll have it broken down. So if you have a question on different items, I'll be like, well, these are worth this much, this is worth that much. Cool. Um, and you, you can be discussed there, because there are times it's like, well, that record was, you know, a different press and, you know, as we know, records, records can have very value based on different presses. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that's the thing. And you offer trade uh, cash or credit? Yeah, cash or store credit. Um, store credit's like a, you know, like 30% more, an incentive, obviously, to uh, buy in the store. In this box, I have a uh, first pressing of the White Album signed by all the Beatles. So, do you think <laughs> I get a good deal? <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe myself. <laughs> This is an experiment for me. I'm curious sure. to see how this works. Yeah. And it's be a good time to do it. Yeah, it's always good to purge a little. Yes, I need to purge a lot more than this, but yeah. Cool, man. Right so we'll come back at the end and figure it out. Sounds good. While he's doing his thing, I'm going to do my thing and explore my favorite record store, Amoeba Records. New arrivals. All right, let's evaluate the rare record wall real fast. So the left side is all Sun Hill Moon records that I really want. Well, I have most of them, but I want April. All the way on top, sealed marble vinyl. Very tempting. Got some Stereo Lab up there. What else we got? We Life. Move it along. Oh, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Okay, Melancholy, Infinite Sadness. Migrants by Deer Hunter. Oh, they got some good stuff today. Up there, I got Kishibashi Room for Dream. It's a pretty rare Los Campesinos album. The Bravery. Wow, I haven't heard of them in a while. There's a white copy of a Devil and God are Raging Inside Me. Yeah, nothing really on the wall that's uh, calling out to me today, which is great for my wallet, but bad for my collection. All right, let's keep, let's keep on moving, shall we? We are heading towards the hip-hop electronic section, which is where I met Kanye once upon a time. Let's see if there's any good stuff up here. All right, let's take a look. Ooh, Go Time Project. Not a great price for it, but great album. Oh, wow, they have the one of Tricks Point Never Riffs box at 75 bucks. It's not terrible for that. That's actually a pretty good price. Mm -hmm. 
Devin Ulrich Schnauss, not the one I'm dying for, but nonetheless. It's always nice to see this, you know, giving some love to one of the greatest artists of all time, but never gonna find anything there. I just pulled $200 worth of records off the back wall over there. Oh. that I'm interested in buying, so yeah. let's hope this is decent well, okay. Uh, it's not going to quite cover that damage. I didn't um, think so, but maybe um, a dent. For what's on the table, um, I would pass on a small stack of CDs That's here. fine. I would pass on um, them too, which is why they're here. <laughs> um, and then one little stack of CDs here would just be a couple bucks in store credit. Sure. Just kind of low priority stuff. For everything else here, the LP is the 12 inches. Uh, uh, cash is 56, credit would be 75. And they're kind of broken down here based on uh, what I'm offering. Okay. All right. Um, maybe if I can look at the, if I can know the breakdown, it would help me just kind of like. Absolutely. Um, I always like to break it down in cash because I think that's more sure. of the real value. Sure. Obviously, we add more in trade credit as yeah, an yeah. incentive. Um, on the craft spells box, that's actually kind of surprised. Puppets would go for a little bit more for the special. But this is nine cash, so going around nine, uh, seven, fives, four, threes, twos, ones, 50 cents. These were roughly about 30 cents a piece to low ball stack, yeah. Okay, well let me uh, let me take a look at these and I'll, I'll make my decision. Absolutely. So for stuff I needed to clear out anyway, that's a pretty pretty good trade-in. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it. This was, yeah. this was a solid experience. Yeah, uh, you popped your sherry on selling records for the first time. I did. Well, yeah. at least not online. <laughs> yeah. So but, uh, I'll be back with more because I do have overflow that's awesome. getting out of control. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so always a pleasure. Yeah, totally, man. Good to see you, dude. So, out of nowhere, I spent a lot of money. Did not expect that. I'm uh, heading back to my car and I will give you guys the rundown about what happened because it's very exciting as soon as I get back. Let me tell you what happened at the end of that trip. So, I did not have much in my haul. But I looked at the back wall behind the counter, which is where they usually have the rarest, most expensive records. So the first thing I found is this. This is Rome by Danger Mouse and Danielle Lupi, starring Jack White and Nora Jones. You've probably heard of some of those names. Well, this is a Third Man Records release, and this is the deluxe version on orange and white vinyl. It usually goes for over $100. They were asking $45. Now, said somewhere, I looked at the discs, it's kind of hard to tell with colored vinyl, especially white, but it didn't look that bad to me, especially for $45, so got this. But I kept looking, and the next thing I found, I was like, this is too serendipitous, I have to buy it. I talked about it earlier in this video when I was looking at the back wall, and I saw it, and the one on their back wall was higher priced than this one, even though they were both sealed. Welcome home, final piece of my Sun Kill Moon LP collection. This is April, one of his best albums, right up there with Ghosts of the Great Highway. This is the marbled version, the promo version, the most limited sought after version, sealed. They were asking 150. The one on the back wall was 200. Remember, I had 120 in credit and I had $86 in credit from trading stuff in. So for this and Rome, it was pretty much a wash. Uh, I can't believe I own this now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna listen to it right after I make this video. And yeah, I now have all of the Sun Kill Moon records that that matter. Uh, all of them except for the ones with Jesu because I wasn't really into those. A couple other small finds that pale in comparison to those two but still worth showing you. Fiery Furnaces, Gallows Bird Bark. Super clean, almost looks near mint. $9.99, this record has been going for more lately and Fiery Furnaces are a pretty good band so I snagged it. Then a cool classic find, we have Decade by Neil Young. Now this is a record they just reissued on Record Store Day for about $35, $40. Three discs, greatest hits. This is only $7.99 and I expected the discs to be totally torn. I would rate this a VG+. Plus. Maybe this, the sleeve has a little wear to it. Uh, not too bad though, to be completely honest. I looked at it and I think it's gonna play just fine. Uh, for $7.99 for three discs, Greatest Hits Neil Young, this is absolutely a steal. So there you have it. There is my vinyl haul slash experience trading in records for the first time. I got about what I thought I would get, to be honest, and I probably would have had those records just sitting around not being listened to anyway. Wouldn't be able to get much more from them on Discogs and I have to go through the hassle of, you know, packing them, sending them, hoping they don't get damaged. This was easy, this was quick. Amoeba and Pete treated me right, like they always do. And I'm really stoked with my Sun Kill Moon find and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you like this and you want to see more vlog style hunts from me, 
Give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment. Let me know you liked it. Also, if you aren't subscribed to this channel and you like records, what are you doing? Just do it. We'll see you guys soon for more videos.